So this is talking about disinfection and sterilisation. So we've got up to this yellow line, so everything to this side is clean, everything on this side is dirty. And from our decon, we've got our instruments all ready to go into the autoclave. So some things we can't autoclave because they um, will melt. Um, so we try and have things that are either disposable or autoclavable, but there's a few things that we can't do that. And some plastic safety glasses is one of those. So the next best thing is disinfection. So disinfection is the destruction of um, all microorganisms except spores and viruses using a chemical agent. So this is disinfection bath. The outside is clean, the inside is dirty, it's got a little basket inside. Two solutions we use is uh, chlorhexidine, which is an alcohol based. And this is a soak time of two minutes. It's concentrate, so it's quite expensive. Or contain 5,000, which is a bleach base, sodium hypochlorite, one sachet to one litre of water. So either of those is fine, and there's heaps on the market. So as long as you know what soak time is, that's fine. So you would refill that every morning. In a particularly busy clinic, you may need to change that over at lunchtime. So I'll just demonstrate how you put something in there without cross-infecting and how to take something out. Okay, so if we assume that I have got two clean hands, I'm just going to actually put one glove on and that's going to be my dirty hand. So what I would do is pick up with my clean hand, take the lid off, my dirty hand, put my glasses in, and we put the lid back down, bop, and the gloves off and wash hands. So the rules are we don't overload um, the disinfection bath, we must fully submerge our materials, and as I say, the outside is clean and the inside is dirty. So what about when that's finished and I want to take things out? So I can come across two, um, two clean hands again. So I can have that one glove system if I want to. Okay. So I'm going to take that lid off. Now you cannot put the lid down like that because the inside is dirty. So it must be this way or often we just lean it behind. Okay, so that's clean hand, dirty hand, take the basket out. Uh, just see if you can follow me, Deb, over to this clean sink. I can turn this on because it's a clean sink. This is my clean hand. Give it a rinse. Tip it out there without the basket, which is dirty, touching my clean towel. Back over here, there. Clean hand, putting the lid back on. Gloves off, wash hands, and that's done. Disinfection. So sterilization, this is an autoclave. Sterilizes instruments, very expensive. So I'm going to show you how to use the autoclave. So it's a good idea when you get a bit wise to leave the door open, saves you time. So what we're going to do, um, sterilisation is the, dis is the um, destruction of all microorganisms, including spores and viruses. So that is why we want everything to go through the autoclave if we can. It gets to the temperature of 134 degrees. It also has, th this is um, set for a universal cycle, which means I can put wrapped and unwrapped instruments in the same cycle. And it's a B-class autoclave, so it sucks and pulls that step uh, steam and temperature through all hollow instruments like hand pieces and suction and things so it's a very good autoclave right the inside is dirty but the outside is clean so you only ever touch the outside with clean hands okay so we need to learn how to put things in okay so once again i've got my tray ready to go over here so i'm going to start with two clean hands but i'm going to wear one glove and that's now going to be my dirty hand so i'm just reusing the same glove here okay so this is dirty, so I pick it up with my dirty hand, put it over into the autoclave. Now I must shut the door with my clean hand. So we just shut that door. So I'll just get you to zone in onto that screen if we can. So as I say, this is a universal cycle. 134 is the temperature it gets through. And this is like an enter button, like on a computer. So yes, that's the load that I want, please. And that's just a little sign saying, don't have more than six kilos of stuff in there. I say, okay, good, thanks. And it's a start button. And you'll notice down the bottom, it has a cycle number. Every autoclave has a cycle number. So the next one will be 434, 435, and, and so on. So I'm just starting that up. So this is on a little dummy cycle. So that will go through a series of steps. Something It begins called lag time, which is the time it takes for the autoclave instruments to reach the same temperature as the steam. Like when you boil a kettle and it warms up and then it boils, it also has lag time. So it's got pressure, temperature, time, how much to go, all of that information will show on that screen for me. So it's just going a fast forward at the moment. So it's just doing a dry cycle. All right, so in the meantime, I would have gone and treated a patient and then that's beeping, say it's finished. Okay, so I will come back with my two clean hands and I've got to take that stuff out. 
So up here in the top is how to open the door. So it's saying it's had a successful cycle, big tick. So I want to open that door, so I have to press that. Here it comes. So of course what's in there is very, very, very hot. So we need to be very careful about that. So we use one of these big oven mitts. Okay, I prefer to use these, much more control if you've got the lower heavy instrument. Okay, and we can just tip these instruments out on the clean side. Everything's clean. And when you get a bit wise, you're going to have to put another load in. So I'm just going to pop that over here, ready to go. Don't let my clean glass touch that dirty bench. You can also um, manage the trays with one of these handles if you would prefer. When you put your hot instruments on this side, it's just a nice thing to do. If there's a towel to fold them over, that would tell your colleagues that there's hot instruments in there, so be careful. Somebody's going to come along and touch those. And then when they're cool, you just need to put them away and they're ready for the next patient.